searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my hardcore playthrough. Alright, I just got attacked a few minutes ago, it was still kind of dark so I didn't bring you guys in, by some hunters. And not really an issue. They, uh, I'll show you what they broke. Hold on a second. I need to get some food on the Barbie. I'm, okay, I'm, I am putting seafood on a grill, so it's food on a Barbie. Oh, 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 resources. Free resources at the house. Gotta grab those. And I'll even grab this. Just, you know. Oh, it is iron. Okay, I thought it was potassium. It is potassium. Boo! Hiss, hiss, boo. No problem. So, they broke, there was a piece of wood, a small one that I put to mount this BCU on. They broke that. They did a little damage to this, but I already repaired it. The good news is, they didn't do any damage to the roof. They damaged this one, because I was standing here for a second. And they did a little damage to this and a little damage to the door, but not really. But I went up on the roof, no damage whatsoever, which is what I was hoping for. Hoping I'd set it that up in a way so that if they even threw a grenade up there, it would just slam, you know, it would roll down the roof and just slam harmlessly in the water or, you know, at the front door on the, the metal plated. So the next thing I need to plate is this and then this and probably this one right here. I need to plate, at least plate those. I wish you could uh, put metal plating on your roof. Maybe Cold Games will give that give that to us in a, an update later on. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Level 5. Looks like both level 5s. Okay, cool. Well, I need to get out. I need to get some resources. Um, I'm a little short on nails. Yeah, I've got 105, but I still feel I'm a little short on nails. Especially since I like using bows so much. And I need nails to make my arrows. Uh, do I want to take? I'll take a few of those with me just in case. And let's get going. Now, my light took a little bit of damage, but I'm wondering if that's when I was shooting out uh, explosive arrows. Sorry, Pickus. Uh, shooting out explosive arrows. It's only had like five points of damage to it. But I went ahead and repaired that as well. I'm pretty sure they were regular hunters. I didn't get a very good look, but I would say they're probably regular hunters. They spend most of the time... Sorry, I thought I heard something. They spend most of the time on the upper part, and then every once in a while, they'll drop down to that lower section, Well, and they'll run back behind in that little cove area, and one guy will throw a grenade, the other guy will run back, and it's kind of like they can't decide which side they want to attack me from, so they just, they're just discombobulated is the best way I can explain it now question is where are you guys oh they're starting their second uh, their second story they're not very far on their second story so <laughs> they're out having a, a nice little swim in the uh, in the waterfall lake don't do it you don't have a helmet you will die if you start this I promise you're gonna die. Okay, this is gonna happen. I knew it. That's right. Come here. You know, oh, his buddy's going to the other side. I gotta take care of him quick. Ah, oh, missed the head. There's a headshot. Oh. Come here. You got a vest on, but you. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I just missed that. Oh, nice. All right, well, that's how we're gonna start the day, going after a fair hunt. I just wanted to look at your base and see how, you know, just being a nosy neighbor. Oh, I see it, I see it. Arrow, thank you. Well, now we're gonna go see their base. We're gonna go visit properly now. I like how their fire is right at the edge of the, uh, of the waterfall, it's really cool. Well, I hope it's been long enough for them to actually have something worth taking. So I'm going to break into here and I'll bring you guys back once we're inside. See you then.
Alright, welcome back guys and gals. We're just about to get in here. I get my headphones off. That is just... Oh no! Nothing! All this sucks. But I do like the fact that maybe with the rifle, I could actually get that hunter base to attack this hunter base while I was in here. We could have some of that kind of fun. Maybe if I get lucky and they'll put that third hunter base over there. Ooh, cougar. Maybe we'll go cruise some cougar hunting. Let's go do some cougar hunting. Switch over to premium arrows just to make sure I've got everything. Got my shoddy, premium arrows. So there was a bust. Taking them on was just a waste of arrows, unfortunately. I mean, I got some gear, but... Oh, oh, rogue hunter base. Okay, you guys are next. I'm taking pretty kitty out first and then rogue hunters after, I hope. No, no, no. One predator at a time. I think a bear just heard me. I can't see the cougar anymore. Now I'm concerned. Oh, there she is. Oh, level three. Oh, bear. <laughs> oh, actually, this could get interesting. Cougar getting close to rogue hunters. And the chicken just ran right through the cougar's legs. I don't know. Do I want to wait and watch what happens? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, I don't think it's going to happen. I think their, their pattern isn't going to cross. I need to go to weapon three once I hit this thing. Just to be on the safe side. Ah, uh, it moved. Okay, I can see the arrow from here, so that's good. Possibly could have finished it off with the arrow, but it's cheaper with the shotgun. All right, come here, little darling. Give me your sinew. Not bad. Ooh, six sinew. Thank you. I like when I get six sinew off a cougar. That's awesome. Now, premium arrow. Thank you. All right, rogue hunters are definitely going to get taken out. Just want to make sure I've got a good position and a retreat. There's a retreat position. Let's, take my, let's make sure the retreat position doesn't have any animals up here that cause me an issue. I need a retreat because this rock is one that they'll path around very easily. So I will get surrounded. Oh, I was hoping that would just ding and kill them right away. But no luck on that. But that went well. Come on, step out. Hello. I also learned something. I'm going to show you right now. This is something that I should have been doing. I never thought of. And I think the name properly pronounced is Z Zelinka. Z Z I want to say Zelinka, but it's not. But it's, it's Z-E-N, something like that on the forums. And people were talking about bandages and stuff like that. And he made an awesome point that he doesn't, he doesn't do that. He just usually carries a fire with him. I'm going to go ahead and bandage myself to stop the bleeding. And then he puts this fire down, lights it, and doesn't use a first aid kit. He allows himself to heal by sitting close to a fire. So when I take on the hunters, I'm constantly, I do a bandage right away and I do a first aid kit right away. If I stop the bleeding and my health isn't so bad that I, you know, that I'm gonna die from, I can come sit by their fire, cook the meat they just gave me and get my health back. I don't have to waste a first aid kit. I mean, bing! I already knew that's how first aid kits work, but I never put two and two together. I feel stupid. But I feel much smarter now. Um, mm -hmm. And don't ask. I have no clue what accent that is and why I went that way. It, it, it just happened. It, it came out of me naturally. There you go. It's a natural reaction. When I feel stupid, that's how I talk. My redneck showing. Excuse me. I'm going to rub that off a little bit. No kitty cat. One of my cats is... I left my cats in the room because they wanted to stay in here. Now they're harassing me. 
go ahead and cook the canteen while I cook this last steak. So that was actually, look at look at my health. I'm, I now granted, I'm not moving around. I'm not doing other stuff. It's a little boring, but I'm not wasting a first aid kit. I, I would have needed to use a first aid kit based on the damage and the bleeding that I had. Didn't need to anymore. And I mean, I can get up and as long as I'm with, I can be over here and I'll still get health back because I've got that little fireplace on the right, just above my health bar. That little, that little fire pit thing right there, that indicates you're close and you're being warmed by the fire. And it's a healing method. So there's an option. If the bandages are too expensive for you, carry a, a campfire with you. You can just make one while you're out there. Uh, something to burn in it and then something to light it with. Bingo, bingo. And if you want, you can actually leave. Like, let's say, here's a good idea. And I wish something I'm probably going to do now. Thank you very much for the idea. It just popped into my head. I'm going to put a fireplace at every one of the big trees in, in all my games. Because that's, it, it's a landmark. You can see it from a distance. And I know if I go to it, I'll have something to light. Because I can leave ignition sources in it. And I can leave uh, it full of wood, light it up when I need it, shut it off, come back, you know, if I need to heal up while I'm out and about. That'll save a lot of first aid kits. So that is an awesome idea. Hope, what I'll probably do is, when I'm editing the video, I'll put, I'll put his name up there correctly spelled. Don't ask me to say it correctly, oh my god. But I'll put it up there at least so you guys can see who I'm talking about from the forum. Because yeah, that's an awesome idea. And I think leaving them, you know, at every one of the big trees, it's actually a two twofold thing. When you start a season, if you put those fireplaces and a foundation, I'd say a foundation is a nice idea too, but at a bare minimum, that fireplace should stop any hunter, including rogue hunters, from setting up a camp in that area, thereby protecting the big trees with the grubs from hunter bases another good reason to have it up there so now it's a healing source if you put a foundation to put the fire on which you don't need to but you can and just a curved foundation it doesn't have to be a full foundation you can also jump on it to protect you from wolves and stuff so basically it's a win-win a satellite healing station saves first aid kits it doesn't stop bleeding but i have bled and sat next to a fire and the amount of health you get back is a little bit more than what you bleed so it will keep you from bleeding to death well, good information i have definitely a good thought and while i'm here do i have what i need i need two sticks I'm gonna go ahead and leave one here. Now, I'm not gonna put a foundation down right now. I don't wanna interfere with that last spawn of my hunter base. That's the only thing I'd be concerned about, at least for what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna cancel the rest of those sticks. I'll make two more fire pits behind it. Oh, no, cancel those. About as many as I'll be able to make right now. But I'll drop them at each of the, the big trees we're going to go by. Got to click on it. It's got just enough fuel to light it up and run it for a minute or two. I don't have any uh, thing to leave for lighting sources, but I'll bring that back with me later. So I think that's a really good idea. I'm going to switch off of my premium arrows. I don't want to waste those. I mean, it wasn't a waste taking the rogue hunters on. It was very satisfying shooting a premium arrow into their head and having it kill them. Yen. Oh, God. Are you charging or stalking? Stalking. Okay. I'm good with a stalking wolf. I don't need a charging wolf right now. But do you see how that tree's different over there in the distance? You know that that's a hit. Now I'll know I can go there to heal. That is an awesome idea. It's a great way to save uh, health kits. Hell, had I been doing that 
you know, the last few months, I'd have boxes and boxes of, of health kits uh, left over. Not a dwindling supply of health kits that I rapidly made before Cold Games made uh, set it up as the uh, the update out. Because that's the only reason I saw health kits. Because I had, in the inside scoop, I knew what was coming in the update. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm making health kits. And I'm making health kits quick. But that supply is starting to dwindle. up. But like I said, I'm still fishing. I'm getting the oils. I have a head start. But if I was starting a fresh game, I would be using fireplaces to heal at. It's actually a really good idea. Cool. I'll put one over there later. Man, I haven't seen any resources. I mean, well... Granted, I just say I haven't seen any resources, and then I literally step on an iron node. But I haven't seen any bags out here today. You know what it is? They're probably spawning behind me. But if I go back the way I came, and I don't plan anything, then it's getting worse. At least this way I've got a chance to find another rogue hunter camp. So, I wonder, should I? I'm going to check the peninsula real quick. It seems it's, it'd be a, a, a fair distance away, but my third rogue hunter camp could be at the peninsula. I would think that's a possibility. I'm gonna skip the wolf. I don't need it. I mean, let's just be honest. I've got all these steaks. They're, they're gonna, uh, they might spoil before I even get them home. So might as well just stuff myself with them. Day's about three fourths of the way done. We've got about nine minutes left in this episode. Wolf level two. I'd rather not waste ammo on any wolves right now. A couple medical plants. I'm gonna grab this fiber and then turn and shoot. Fiber, turn, dead. Wanted to make sure I aimed right for his head. This is hardcore. You'll have to be careful. Ooh, some nice fat. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. Hated wasting the round, but I appreciate the supplies you gave me. Did I miss that? I actually missed that, didn't I? There we go. Oh, there's a bag up there. I've been hurting for a bag. Okay, well, I guess I'm taking another wolf on. Hello, hello. If I want nails and I don't want to make them, I'll have to pick up. Build. Oh, jeez. That's your bag, dude. You can have that. But that bear is going to come right off the, the ledge. Watch him. Watch him. Uh, he took, what? About 12 points of damage for that fall. All right. Well, I guess I'm not going down the peninsula because I'm not going to deal with a level four bear. You guys know what happened to me in my other playthrough. When I went up against the bear. Oh no, no, no. That was not fun. Oh, just missed him too. Yes, it was a it was a wild shot. Probably wouldn't hit, but I was trying to be cool. Shoot on the run. That rabbit's gonna see yeah, he's gonna keep seeing me. Alright, I'll leave you alone. I can look from over here to see if there's anything over there. I'm not seeing any hunter movement. I'm not seeing any fire, so okay. That's a bust, nothing across there. I mean, that third hunter base is probably not gonna spawn in yet because my second hunter base doesn't even have a loot chest to loot yet, which I'm rather sad about. I bet you, oh, you know what? I need to go back now real quick and check it. The door's still off, but stuff spawns in during the day. Even if the hunters are dead, the game still spawns and quote unquote, uh, quote unquote builds. I'm doing the air quote thing while still trying to play. It's a little hard. It's like air quote, there quote, air quote. But they spawn in stuff and stuff builds during the day, even if there was no hunters around. How do I know that? Well, for the Taj Mahal video, I actually had to spend about three weeks in game, well, two weeks in game time in a house hiding from the hunters and you know late in the day it would happen usually twice a day 
um, mid morning, late afternoon, stuff seemed to spawn. You'd hear like something was just built, but there was no hunters around. And even if I killed the hunters off, it would still do that. Now the door doesn't get put back on until middle of the night, but the house can still build stuff, I believe, if you even if you take the hunters out. We know where it was at this morning. Let's see where it, where it's at this afternoon. We can either confirm my hypothesis or maybe look like a complete idiot. Well, I already look like a complete idiot, but anything new? Look at I'm not seeing anything new. Maybe I was wrong. You know, if this house is a little bit further over, you can do cannonballs into the, the little lake down below of the, of the uh, waterfall right here. Oh God, I just thought about what I just did. I can't equip my weapon because I'm underwater. This is BS. They can still attack. Ooh, he jumped in behind me. I almost wish I had a uh, a cam that could have could have watched that because that would have been cool. Me jumping off doing a cannonball and a wolf coming behind me. All right, I'm gonna stop my bleeding. I'm gonna have to waste the bandage, but I'm not. I'm gonna try not to heal until I get home. Yeah, I'm sitting there. Give me my weapon. Give me my weapon. And it's like you can't pull a weapon out underwater. I I don't get that. Um. I understand why, but if I can't pull a weapon out underwater, then the wolf shouldn't be able to attack me if I'm actually under the surface of the water. I mean, let's be a little bit fair. Or give us a hunting knife or something we can pull out. A spear. People have wanted a spear. I'd still say I'd like to, I'd like to see a spear in this game. It would be kind of cool. Give us something to defend ourselves while we're in the water, because that's going to be the death of a lot of players. Alright, I'm going to stick all of this in there. I want to get that cooked meat in there before it spoils. Because it's still good, and as long as it's not going to spoil as soon as I uh, pull it out, then it's usable. Go up there when I'm hungry and just grab the food. Right, drop that in. Let's get my fire going. in there. I do like having this right here so that I can fish and do water. Take care of all my chores. Almost ready. Put that in there. Not worried about the water. Basically freaks. I live right on the lake. Perfect. Almost gone. I think I'll leave. Actually, they're so close, there's no reason to leave it there. Just to be dumb. Because I'm turning it into clean water. Might as well use the clean water if I have it. Because it provides more water to the plant than dirty water. But I think dirty water should give you an advantage for taking care of a plant. Because there's more nutrients in the dirty water. Fill these up real quick. Like preheating my canteens. It's really fun. But oh, level four. Ooh. But my time is up. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on my hardcore playthrough. Hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, consider dropping a like and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.